Hello friends, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. Welcome to my channel Live Biochemistry. Today I am going to discuss about the vitamin B2. So vitamin B2 is riboflavin. Okay, an active form of riboflavin, vitamin B2 is FMN and FAD. Flavin mononucleotide and flavin adenine dinucleotide. So we will see about the riboflavin in detail. Deficiency, sources and function of this vitamin B2. Right? So, this riboflavin, vitamin B2, it is chemically identical uh, like structure are lactoflavin that is present in the milk or heptoflavin and ovaflavin. They are identical to the riboflavin. And this riboflavin was the first B complex component to be isolated in the pure state. It is synthesized by the green plants and microorganisms. So here it is a structure. There is a dimethyl, dimethyl isoaloxazine ring, which is attached to this ribitol. This ribitol is nothing but it is the alcohol of the ribose sugar. Right. So it is heat stable and this riboflavin is converted to FMN and FAD with the help of ATP. Now what are the sources of this riboflavin? Liver, yeast, egg, milk, right? Cereals, legumes, green leafy vegetables, then potato, okay, mushrooms, almonds, cabbage. These are all the good source of Riboflavin. So you can see spinach also, okay, avocado, salmon fish, these are the, all the good source of vitamin B2. Now this isoelectron ring attached with the riboitol, okay, so it is called as a riboflavin. To this, with the help of flavokinase enzyme, ATP is added and it is converted to flavin mononucleotide. One more here, ATP, okay, it is converted, here the phosphorus group is donated, right. And here the adenosine group is donated and it is converted to flavin adenine dinucleotide. So riboflavin will exist in tissue tightly bound to the enzymes, not covalently bound to the enzymes. And enzymes with the riboflavin, they are called as a flavoprotein. So they are FMN and FAD, flavin mononucleotide, flavin adenine dinucleotide. So you have to remember, whenever you see this FMN or FAD, it is nothing but it is a coenzyme which is vitamin B2, riboflavin, right? So this FAD will accept the two hydrogen. Okay. And we will see which are the enzymes, which are the reactions which are mediated by FAD and which are the enzymes reacted by the FMN. Okay. So this FMN can be used for the D, okay, amino acid oxidase enzyme. And also you can remember in the biological oxidation, Electrons were transferred to the NAD from FMN and then it will transfer to the coenzyme Q. Right. Now, these are the reactions. So, in TCA cycle, you remember succinate is converted to fumarate and FAD is converted to FADH2. So that is one. Then, in the fatty acid oxidation, acyl CoA, that is the first step, is converted to alpha beta unsaturated acyl CoA and FAD is converted to FADH2. Right. And you remember in electron transport chain, this effect DH2 will give 1.5 ATP. Right. Xanthine to uric acid, xanthine oxidase required FADH2, pyruvate to acetyl CoA and alpha ketone. This you have to remember in all. In thymine also, in riboflavin also, and niacin also. Okay. This pyruvate to acetyl CoA and alpha ketone to succinyl CoA. Right. So, which are the reactions mediated by the FMN? Okay, D amino acid oxidase enzyme, it requires coenzyme FMN, and in the complex one of electron, electron transport chain. While FAD, so one is pyruvate to acetyl CoA, okay, alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl CoA. This two is common. Then what is speciality? That succinate is converted to fumarate, remember in the TCA cycle, right? And in the beta oxidation first step, acyl CoA is converted to alpha beta unsaturated acyl CoA. So this is two very important where FAD 
is converted to FADH. This is the role of vitamin B2 main. Okay, these four are the main important. Then conversion of xanthine to uric acid, xanthine oxidase also required the FAD. Right. So if there is a deficiency of this vitamin B2, okay, when a poor person who don't get this enough amount of spinach, mushroom, cabbage, potato, almond, or egg or milk, then he may develop a riboflavin deficiency. As such, it is uncommon because our intestinal flora can also synthesize, but it and then often this riboflavin deficiency, as we know, there is a pyruvate to acetyl CoA or alpha ketoglutarate to succinyl CoA, all require the thymine, riboflavin, and niacin. So, all this beriberi, pelagra, kosher, all they are simultaneous together usually. Okay, so there is a corneal neovascular agent. There is a glossitis, magenta color tongue, angular chilosis, and angular stomatitis. So you can see here, there is angular chilosis is there, right? So that is typical. A patient comes to you, if you find this angular stomatitis, you can say there is a, a, a this riboflavin deficiency there. Along with it, there will be a, beriberi will be there, cardiac and a, a CNS manifestation in the beriberi occur, and pellagra, diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia. All these features will come on because Ultimately, these uh, are the part of complex multi enzyme complex vitamin. So, this all together will be common. Okay, deficiency will be common. So, what will be angular chirosis? Okay, you can see here sores on the lips, mouth, bleed when mouth open. Okay, painful skin splits, right? So, these are typical of vitamin B2, riboflavin deficiency. Right, so you can see here angular chirosis, right? corneal vascularization. Okay, angular chirosis, stomatitis, magenta color tongue. So, if I revise about the riboflavin, it is vitamin B2, active form is FMN, flavin mononucleotide, flavin adenine, dinucleotide. Clear? Then it is chemically isoeloxazine ring with ribitol, not to remember, but its function is important. What are the functions? So, FMN mediates, okay, D amino acid oxidase and uh, complex 1. For biological oxidation and main is FAD. Okay, pyruvate 2, acetyl CoA, alpha ketoglutarate 2, succinyl CoA. These are two common along with the thymine or niacin or lycoic acid. Okay, and what is specially you have to remember that succinate to fumarate. Remember in the TCA cycle, succinate was converted to fumarate, fumarate was converted to malate, by fumarate and then malate converted to oxaloacetate and cycle continues like that. And beta oxidation, acyl CoA is converted to alpha beta unsaturated fatty acyl CoA. Then the, there was a hydroxylation, then again NAD comes. So this is beta oxidation, right? So one in the TCA cycle and beta oxidation. As you remember, this will provide the too much amount of ATP. Okay. And because of this FAD is deficient, it will lead to the chilosis, chilosis, angular chilosis, magenta color, tongue, right? So all these are the typical symptoms of the uh, riboflavin deficiency. In the next video, I will discuss about the vitamin B3 niacin. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share the video to your friends, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications for my future video. Okay. So with this, I'm stopping this. Thank you very much for watching.